What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am MLB Chatterbox, a.k.a. Christian Corey. Hold on. Before we get into the video, I just want to let you guys know that there's a giveaway going to be happening once we hit 1,000 subscribers. 1,000 subscribers, I'm doing a giveaway. Yes, a giveaway of a Brooklyn Dodgers baseball hat made by New Era. I'm going to give it away to one of you guys, my subscribers out there. All you got to do is subscribe. And once we hit the 1,000 subscribers, all you have to do is send me a screenshot that you're subscribed. And I'll create a list. And I'll go through that. And I'll randomly pick somebody. And I'll reward them with the hat or gift them with the hat being the Brooklyn Dodgers cap. So, yeah, guys. Just want to let you guys know and enjoy the video. You see the title and the thumbnail in today's video. Another signing made by another team who is desperate for some bullpen help, and that would be the Philadelphia Phillies. The Phillies have signed free agent reliever Archie Bradley to a one-year deal worth $6 million, according to Mark Feinstein via his Twitter. Um, Feinstein tweets, Archie Bradley has agreed to a one-year deal worth $6 million bucks with the Phillies per source. It also says, after earning $4.1 million in 2021, another tweet by Feinstein, by the way, Bradley was non-tendered by the Reds, who acquired him from the D-backs at the trade deadline. Bradley's $6 million deal with the Phillies isn't far off from what he likely would have received in arbitration. So the $6 million bucks the Phillies gave him, virtually the same thing he would have gotten in arbitration. So I think the Phillies are satisfied with their move, and I think most Philly fans would be happy that they made a move finally when it comes to helping that bullpen out. Dave Nabrowski came in there as a new GM. His job is to fix that team and, you know, get some more bullpen pieces in that organization and help out that bullpen because obviously that bullpen was atrocious last year, one of the worst seasons overall for a one team's bullpen in the history of the Phillies and in the history of baseball. It was just terrible. Again, being a Tigers fan, Dave Dombrowski has not built a lot of great bullpens. He's built a lot of great starting rotations, but not bullpens. We'll see how he does in Philadelphia when it comes to that task. This signing by the Phillies is a good move. As a Phillies fan, I'm not a Phillies fan, but if I was a Phillies fan, I would be satisfied with this move. This is just move number one of what I think should be many when it comes to helping out that bullpen. Again, a one-year deal worth six million bucks is not going to kill you. It's not a lot of money. Archie Bradley, you know, he's not the best. He's not what he used to be, but he's solid. He's a solid reliever. He's not going to be your closer, I don't think. I think they're going to go out there and get another man for that job, but I think he's a good eighth inning guy, seventh inning guy, sixth inning guy, whatever you want to do with him. I think he's durable and very durable and can be very helpful for that Phillies team. If you just look at the stats for Bradley, again, between Arizona and Cincinnati in Arizona in 2020, again, shortened season, he was 1-0, and had a 4.22 ERA. He pitched in 10 games. He pitched 10 and two-thirds innings. Every game he pitched an inning. He gave up 13 hits, five earned runs, and then in Cincinnati when he got traded, he was in six games, posted a 1.17 ERA. He pitched seven and two-thirds innings. He only gave up one run. He actually gave up one home run in Cincinnati. did not give up any home runs in Arizona. That's interesting. He's a good pitcher. He's young, still 27. Obviously, 2017 was his big year in Arizona when the Diamondbacks went to the postseason against the Rockies. So that was his best year overall. One of his best years, I should say. So I think this is a good deal for Philadelphia. You're not breaking the bank, which is a good thing. You know, I don't think you need to break the bank because I do not think if the Phillies were calling up Liam Hendricks and saying, hey, would you like to come to Philadelphia? And Liam Hendricks wanted a three-year deal close to 50 million bucks, they were not going to do that. Because, again, 
top priority, I still think, is signing back JT Ramuto. You need to save money up for JT Ramuto. You're already knee-deep with Harper. I mean, he ain't going anywhere. You need to sign JT Ramuto. The Mets are not a factor anymore. I think it's you or who else. The Cubs ain't going to get JT Ramuto. The White Sox aren't going to get JT Ramuto. So I think it's the Phillies. The Astros, maybe. I mean, if they really think they're going to try to win again, if they're going for it, Verlander's going to be out. So we'll see what happens there. But your, really own, your competition when it comes to signing back JT Ramuto is the Astros, in my eyes, because everybody else has a catcher and everybody else isn't going to spend that kind of money. So I think that signing this deal is not breaking the bank. I think you got to sign JT Ramuto. That is your top priority for the offseason. That is priority number one over the bullpen. Unless you sign a bunch of these bullpen guys and you just sign a regular everyday Joe as a catcher and let JT Ramuto walk. He ain't going to the Mets, so don't worry about that. They got James McCann. So let's not worry about JT Ramuto going to the Mets. It's either the bullpen or JT Ramuto. What's more important? I would say JT Ramuto. I know the bullpen's a big factor. I know the bullpen cost you games. I get that. But hey, one of the better catchers in the league, the best catcher in the league, I should say, you have him, he's out there, sign him. Get him back. But when it comes to the relievers and what they're going to do out on the market, again, Bradley, great. Good deal. One year, six million, beautiful. They were not going to get Liam Hendricks, who signed a three-year deal worth $54 million with the White Sox. Ain't no way. Uh-uh. That's nuts. They would never do that. Now, Alex Colome or Colome, he's out there. He's basically the exact same as Liam Hendricks, former White Sox closer. Their stats are literally the exact same. Liam Hendricks, 3-1. and one. What was Alex Colome? 2-0. and oh. What was his ERA, Hendricks? 1.78. What was his ERA being Colome? 0.8. 8-1. Like, okay, great. How many games did Liam Hendricks pitch in? 24. How many did Colome? 21. Hendricks? How many innings did he pitch? 25 and one-third. Colome? 22 and one-third. Earn runs from Hendricks? 5. Colome? 2. Strikeouts? Hendricks? 37. That's a lot of strikeouts. I'll give him that. Colome, 16. I mean, I think that if you can get Colome on a cheaper deal, maybe get him for two years for, I don't know, two. Oh, I don't know. What would you sign? I mean, a three year 54, that's nuts. Colome might ask what. Hendricks got because Hendricks and his stats are virtually the same. I mean, if you can somehow, you know, squeeze in and, and, and kind of, you know, make us a, a surprise splash with getting Colomay on a good deal, I think that's a great idea. You still got Kirby Yates out there. He's good if you look at the free agent market. Um, Shane Green sucks. Sergio Romo's out there. He's older. I understand that. Pedro Strope, older, understand that. Wade Davis, older, understand that. My point is you have a lot to choose from. Sean Doolittle, a little bit older, but hey, he's out there. Jeremy Jeffries, 33, hey, he's still out there. Joaquin Soria, older, out there. Mark Melanson, older, out there. Ken Giles would be nice. Um, Brandon Workman, not bad. Roberto Ozuna, not bad. Um, Kirby Yates, there you go. Uh, I think if they can somehow get a lot of these pieces, signing these guys to one, two, maximum three-year deals um, would be great for the Phillies. I think they could get Colome. I think if they get Colome, it'd be great for them. Then they can kind of get maybe a Giles, give a Kirby Yates, maybe get a, a Sean Doolittle, um, I think that would be Jesse Chavez. I mean, you, you have a lot of options out there if you're the Phillies, and this is your top priority. I think that would be awesome for them to get a guy like Colome. I think this is a good deal by Philadelphia getting Bradley. He's 28. He's young. One-year deal, $6 million. 
there's no option involved, I don't believe. Um, again, Hendricks got that big deal. He set the market. If you're going to get Colome, Colome might ask for kind of the same deal because his numbers are the same as Hendricks. You never know. Maybe there's something about him we don't know that they could get him on a cheaper deal. But in my opinion, I would go after Colome next for the Phillies. Good deal. Right now, signing Bradley. Um, one year deal, no risk, six million. Phillies fans should be satisfied with this move. But yeah, guys, that's all I got to say for this video. Comment down below your thoughts on this move by the Phillies getting Bradley on a one year deal worth six million bucks. And comment down below your thoughts on them potentially getting Alex Colomay next. I think he'll be a good addition for the Phillies, possibly on a two, maybe three year deal if they want to stretch it. Alrighty guys, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.